Hi guys, Mark here with Walters World. We're in Beijing, China. And what we have today are the top 10 towns that you should check out, or top 10 places I should say, you should check out when you come to China. Because it is a beautiful country from nature to cool cities to amazing sights, and of course the Great Wall. So here are our top 10 places to go. Now first, Beijing probably has the most sights to see in a condensed area than anywhere in the country, and it is so cool. So of course you have to go to the Great Wall while you're here. You can do some really good uh, stops on that here. Uh, you go to the Forbidden City, the oldest imperial palace in the world. It's you know still around. You've got uh, the Temple of Heaven that's here. You've got the Summer Palace. There's all kinds of fantastic stuff to see here in Beijing. So you definitely need to make this either your first stop or last stop in China because it is so cool with so many great things to see. Now, number two on our list is my personal favorite place to go here in China, and that's Xi'an. If you go there, you have the Terracotta Warriors. You've seen them. This is where they really are. You can actually go and see them, take pictures, be with them, all kinds of stuff. It is cooler than it seems like in the guidebooks. I mean, it seems really cool in the guidebooks, but it's even cooler when you go there. And the city has lots to offer has the best food. The lamb stew there is fantastic, okay? And also you can go see the drum tower and the bell tower and the Muslim quarter walking around there. It is a really cool experience, kind of the market town and all kinds of stuff like that, but Xi'an's my favorite, so that's number two. Number three on our list is Shanghai. This is more, if you want to see the last 20 or 30 years of Chinese history, how the city has really grown incredibly with amazing skyscrapers, uh, you know, very distinct skyline. The Shanghai Museum's really cool. Shanghai is a cool place to go. Um, and if you're, you're kind of tired of seeing Eastern stuff, you want to have a Western experience, Shanghai is the place to be, okay? Now, the fourth place to go is Hong Kong, okay? The two systems kind of thing still does work, and you go to Hong Kong, it's like the most densely populated place in the world, but it is so cool. I mean, imagine China with really, with good manners, and if you come to China, you understand what I mean, but Hong Kong, whether you're going to, you know, stroll Victoria Harbor, see some of the great museums, the incredible skylines, go to Victoria Peak, there's so, the temples that are there, there's so many cool things to see in Hong Kong, that's why it's number four on our list. Number five, if you're getting tired of the big, huge cities, because you do have that, you want to kind of a smaller city and see some really cool stuff, I recommend going to Pingyao, which is this amazing, like, walled town you can go to. It's got a little bit of a smog issue, but it is a really cool place to go if you want to have kind of a smaller town experience when you're in China. And I mean, it is fantastic. I mean, everyone recommends that I go there. So that's 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 number five on our list. Number six on our list is taking a river cruise on the Yangtze River. Now, I know if you're taking one of these package tour things, they always have you go, go on those, but it is well worth it. And not just seeing the Three Gorges down, but seeing dam but going to see the gorges and the peaks and the cliffs when you go through i mean it is kind of an otherworldly experience you feel like you've gone back in time and it is very cool and i do recommend you do one of those even though it is kind of touristy it is well worth it now number seven on our list is Huangshan, or maybe you know better as the yellow mountains and this is basically if you've ever been to any chinese restaurant you see these fabulous paintings of mountains and cliffs and misty locations and you know watching kung fu panda and see all these like typical beautiful Chinese scenery, that's the place they go. It is just gorgeous there. So that's number seven on our list, going to the Yellow Mountains. Number eight on our list is going to Hunan. And this is the one thing, whenever I ask my Chinese students, where should I go to have a good environment, good you know, feelings and all kinds of stuff like this, so you gotta go to Yunnan. Because it's kind of a region in the south, and in there that you have Shangri-La, and I don't mean Shangri-La like the idea of this perfect place. I mean the actual Shangri-La. You have the snow-capped mountains, beautiful lakes, pagodas all over the place, and it is just fabulous. And it's kind of the best place to go if you want to have like clean air, one, and two, to have a relaxing kind of back to nature kind of vacation. Super cool place. Definitely worth going to see. Number nine on our list, if you want to go to some beach towns, there are some beach places you can go to. Dalian's kind of a clean, put together town in the very north of on the coast. Um, if you want uh, Chin Huang Dao, that's where the Great Wall goes into the ocean. So like literally it's like they call it the dragon's head because the dragon, like the wall goes in like 20, 30 meters into the water. Very cool place to check out. Well worth it. It's like a two hour train ride from Beijing. Well worth the trip. Then you have Qingdao, which is another really good beach town to go to. And so it is pretty of a cool place. So if you're getting tired of the big city stuff and you want to go to the coast, you can do that here too. And number 10 on the list is Yangshuo. And this is basically a nice town. If you want to go biking, you can go bike from there to the Moon Hills. And it's just kind of a really cool atmosphere. You can go see the caves that are there. All kinds of fabulous stuff. But guys, I got to tell you, there's so many great places to visit in China. This top 10 list needs to be a lot bigger. So if you have any recommendations on other places to go, please leave a comment below with some of the great places because we can't wait to come back to China. We've only been here for six weeks traveling around and we want to come back for some more. So give us some more ideas and I hope you enjoy your trip to China. We have a lot more advice things for here in China, like 10 things you should know before you come to China, five things you're gonna love and hate about visiting China, top 10 sites here in Beijing, 
check us out on our website at waldersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook, and you know, Yoku and Weibo if you're, <laughs> if you're in China because Twitter and Facebook don't work here. So anyway, I hope you have a good time, and bye from Beijing, China.